My darling, believe me. One thing Miss Knight is going to do is stay in the key that she needs to be in. What's up, y'all? I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this blessed by the best studio, the Jaren M. LeGray Studio. I wanted to get to this lady in particular for a long form analysis for quite a while. And when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This is a beautiful performance from a beautiful voice and a beautiful person. So let's do it, y'all. Here's my voice analysis of Gladys Knight singing I Say a Little Prayer for You for Dionne Warwick at the 2023 Kennedy Honors. little lean I say a little prayer for you I love how she has always been a storyteller with her voice she knows how to evoke emotion by way of like storytelling and making her sing so narrative and like she's almost like talking how she sings I love that about her it's like her voice like a warm hug oh I just love her so much For you. It was almost like that you had a little vibrato in it and it was like a you, not a you, but a you. So it's almost like a German, almost like a German type sound, like an umlaut or something. Say a little prayer for you. Mmm, sing Miss Gladys. Forever, forever, you stay in my heart. I love what only be heartbreak for me. I love how she paced that for me instead of what only be heartbreak for me. She kind of had a little backbeat delay. Only be heartbreak for me. Yeah, I like how she paces her words and how she tells stories by way of her pacing, her rhythmic pacing in the vocal line and in the lyrics. She really tells stories and really makes everything very narrative. For the bus while riding I'd be busty, I say a little prayer for you. And it's almost like her beautiful smile keeps that you kind of bright. I say a little prayer for you. That German type umlaut sound. I just take time and all through my heart break time. I say a little prayer for you. <laughs> that lady was in worship, okay? She said, I know that's right. <laughs> I remember hearing Dionne Warwick's version before Aretha Franklin's version. I know I heard Dionne Warwick's version first and then, you know, I kind of just happened upon Aretha Franklin's version, you know, sometime later. But Dionne's was the first version I've ever heard of this song and I've always loved this song. I remember when you had to download songs from iTunes for 99 cents, you know? This was one of the first songs I downloaded. Dionne Warwick's version of I Sell It Per For You was one of the first songs, probably like one of the first five songs I downloaded from iTunes and I finally had, you know, a debit card in front we have my own account. Yeah, it was Dion Warwick's I Say a Little Prayer for You. I love this song. It's such a beautiful song. It's such a good message. You know, such a good message. Did you hear that together is together, not together. Together, together. So it's kind of hitting quick. Together, together. Kind of like that. My darling, believe me. One thing Miss Knight is going to do is stay in the key that she needs to be in. <laughs> that is one thing she's going to do. If she'll do nothing else in this lifetime, she's going to stay in the key she needs to be in. She's not going to try to go higher, go lower. She's not going to try to do. No, she's going to stay in that pocket of that range, of that tessitura, of that key that she wants to be in and needs to be in. 
And that's it. And that's one thing, one more thing I should say, I respect about her is that she has never tried to be anybody but herself this whole time. She has always stayed in that low, rich pocket that she has, and it has worked for her all these years. All these years. I mean, she has a lower voice, and in that wrong with that, it's just the natural range you've been given. So she stays in that low range and stays in that pocket. Everybody else to scream and go up high and do all the high, so she was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna stay down low and mellow and chill and beautiful. And it is so beautiful. Even now, her voice is still so beautiful, and she still has that storytelling spark in her presentation and her voice. was nice yeah y'all and i love how dion's like yeah same girl oh i just love that interaction yeah. yeah how she got something to be with that run yeah yeah that was nice it was almost like she started bigger and thicker in the sound and then got lighter and breathier at the end yeah you know it was still really rich and thick but it kind of got breathy but still rich at the bottom of that run right there If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next week so you know when the next video is posting. And give this a like so I can get on some more people if you enjoyed it. And as I will always, always, always say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. All right, y'all. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you soon.